what's up you guys marty schwartz here with marty music gonna break down this awesome black crows song i hope you guys dig it also thanks for supporting marty music subscribing right here to the channel and clicking that bell notification really helps me out a lot and i do really appreciate it let's learn the tune first thing we need to do is get the guitar in open e tuning which would be e b e g sharp b an E. For for the ease of things, I'm still going to call it the A string, G string, etc. But it's open E tuning. Next, we're going to hammer on from four to five on the B string, and then hit the open high E string. So we do that. Then middle finger on the fourth is gonna pick and slide down to two. And then open B. Followed by the high E again. So. Next, we're going to hammer the first fret of that G string and then the B E. Sorry, like that. One, one, pulled off. Open D, which has been tuned up to E, so we're getting the root there. So. So then we just give it nice open strum. We're gonna be doing that a lot, so. Then we repeat it a second time. Da da da. Now for this that strumming part, we're going to be adding the second fret A string and first fret G string, just like that. Da -da -da. Next, we need uh, these harmonics. So if you go right along the 12th fret and lightly touch all the strings right on that 12th fret there, you get that sound. If I press, not quite as much, but right along the fret and then right along the seventh fret. So you put that together. So real easy, but real pretty. So let's go back to the beginning. Same thing again. Down to the strumming. Da, 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 da. Harmonics, 12, seven. Da, 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 da. Next cool lick. So we're sliding second fret D up to four and then hitting the open G. Then we're gonna do a pull off from the third fret G to the open D. So check it out. Then we do that exact same move a la Over the Hills and Far Away vibe. Fifth fret G string, open D. Obviously they've been tuned, 
but we're just calling him that. So. You do the first one again, that third fret. After that open after that third fret open D, you do open G, second fret D, open. From the top of that lick. where we keep going back to the high E string. So, and then the fifth fret B, so back to the high E again, look at my right hand. Then it goes down a half step, B, E. Second fret, open. So, up, oh, da, do, da, do, da, do, da. It starts with the up strum on the high E. And so here's a little thing going on. It goes by really fast. Any string that you were, you know, accidentally hitting during this part, all sounds good. Actually, not the second fret G, but. You know, anything you get in there by accident is gonna be, it's gonna work. So let's break down what we've got. Then check out this lick, but we are event we're going to pedal back to the the high E string, but we need to think of this. Which is a pull off on that first fret, then second fret, then open G, then open D. So watch when you put that together. Now we're gonna add to it. So immediately after, we're aiming for that B string. If you get the B and high E in there, that's good as well. But then it goes right into the, check it out again. So then the only thing now is when you're doing, you wanna go. So as you're pulling it off, you're doing the up strum on the high E, B. From the top, harmonics, Zeppelin, Stones, you get the 
idea, right? So now we pretty much have all the hard stuff out of the way. Um, now we just need the song, right? And and these little themes, you know. They come back, you know, you can listen to the recording, you hear those little themes come back, but that's what you're gonna need. The change in the song, the chorus, I guess you could call, real easy with this open E tuning. I'm using those fingers, you could use these three. I'm playing seventh fret of that E, and then the D and G. And I'm letting the B and high E ring out. Then just down a whole step. All right, so the bridge, it's really just the A chord to the E chord, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but a good, a cool option. Isn't that nice, isn't that pretty? So you can do fifth fret, and then you got seven on the D, seven on the G. And if you go up to eight on the G, that's a nice little color as well. So you got. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Also, uh, thank you again for your continued support. Uh, you can request lessons and tunes in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe right here to Marty Music. Thanks again, hope to see you real soon. 